Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, Second Thoughts here, uh, back with another pickup. Just ran through my local uh, Nike factory store. Ran, again, like if you've seen in my videos, you know I run through there every so often. And today, it was, uh, was kind of the best selection and the worst selection of shoes I've ever seen in there. But I was able to pick these up. Uh, Nike Internationalist. PGS, which I don't know what it means. LTR, I don't know what that means either. Uh, but gold tan, cell black, beach colorway. Originally uh, 105, they had them knocked down to uh, 70. It was the only pair on the hash wall, which I guess is what it's called. That's what I heard uh, he's call it. So I guess instead of outer wall, the hash wall. But here they are. Uh, another throwback retro, which you guys... No, I'm kind of sweet on if you've been watching but these are just absolutely amazing for what I've seen with you know most Nike runners and the the materials they used on this are just just outrageous look at that that is that's wild it's like a they used uh, almost like you would on a pair of casual dress shoes or something that type of material but uh yeah nike ish internationalist uh throwback i think they they were making these these are kind of late 70s early 80s model like 80 to 82 somewhere in that ballpark they're what my parents put me in when i was a little except for it was like that satiny nylon material back then that they used uh let's see uh, tongue about the same as what they're doing on the new new Jordan highs except for uh, There's no padding in them at all, but you know, it's it's basically the same tongue same materials just thinner That they threw on there uh, white laces foam bottom not gonna be any air in these uh, waffle bottoms. I just uh, I Couldn't pass up on these after after seeing that material and uh, as far as I know, nobody has reviewed these or shown them on uh, YouTube that I can find. I looked them up. Found some other ones, but none of them are these uh, premium materials that I can see. They're just the normal uh, satiny ones I was just talking about. But uh, yeah, here they are. Um, getting uh, 100, marked down to 70. I had a $5 coupon and they took another 20% off. Um, so they came out to, after tax and everything, 55 on these. Um, pretty nice. I had a $30 gift card too. So, you know, 25 out of pocket on these. But uh, there we go. They had a couple other little shoes in there. They had some uh, LeBron soldiers, but they're some ugly ass purple color. And uh, what else did they have that I liked? Oh, they had a had some the Jordan uh, Nobias. I guess that's how you say it. I'm not real sure. Nobios. Those are kind of the premium Jordans. They had those in there, but they were still wanting a hundred dollars, and you can find those online for like seventy five right now. So passed on those. And what else? Uh, oh, they had a, a pair of Nike Dunks. The uh, they're a Quick Strike pair. The uh, Beijing's, and those were those were all right. But again, they were they were still just a little too much. I think after the discounts and everything, they would have still been about sixty or so. So I wasn't wasn't gonna gonna pay that on them. Um, maybe maybe next time I go in there, there'll be another ten down, and that that's about right where I like to where I'd like to be on those. But they were kind of cool. Um, let's see, and that, that's about it. Other than a, they had a bunch of ugly, like those fly net, knit, uh, high runners, and those ones that the the toes curl up on real bad when when they haven't when they're not being worn. I don't know. They're, they're just real ugly to me. But uh, yeah, I was real happy with these. Uh, thought they're a real cool cool shoe. They'll be a nice little summer shoe too. I thought. Um, Again, you know, it's real rare to run across a pair of Nikes that's using this kind of stuff. 
and it not be one of those those hype beast releases so uh yeah it might just be because of what it is and you know i'll get my old man swag going with these things so thanks guys for watching appreciate it ruben Gotti, knox uh fam jumper man chris ratchet appreciate all you guys coming in stopping by victor share my videos a lot appreciate that uh we will see you on the next one again trying to slow down and just trying to find stuff that i really want and can't pass on the price kind of like it's not like I was looking for these when I found them, but once I saw them, I knew I knew I wanted them and couldn't pass, pass at that price point. But uh, again, thanks a lot, guys. And uh, videos will probably be slowing down is what I'm taking in slowing down, but I'll be checking in with you here sporadically. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.